Four of Band Lab Blues. Today we are going to be looking at adding a drum kit to liven up our blues piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, check that you've got your first instrument and you can actually rename these now. So I'm going to rename that one um, Easy Bass Line. And then this one is our guitar chords. This one is our sax walking bass line. Have I spot that right? Nope. And now we are going to put drums on track four. So I added myself a new track and then I've gone down to drum kits and then I've just got a classic rock kit. What we could do is have a look and see what the blues kit sound like. So the S is your bass drum. The F is your snare. The G is what we call a rim shot snare, which actually might be quite nice in blues. Okay, that is your, I always get these wrong way around, your crash cymbal, and this is your ride cymbal. And you've got inner and outer, and then this is your hi-hat over here. So you've got the nine in the middle is an open hi-hat. That is uh, an open hi-hat but closing and that is a closed hi-hat. Over here you've got your tenor tom and then your two other toms and that is your cowbell. Okay, so the drums that I'm going to use for this are your S, your bass drum and your snare and actually I think I might use a rim shot because I like the sound of that. Now I am going to use um, the QWERTY keyboard for this so I can get a little bit of a swing going. Now I'm going to slow the tempo down again so that I can get that slow, that shuffle going. Move that back. Every time I change the tempo, it seems to not work. Right, I'm going to practice this first because this is not something that I have had a go at before. So I'm on S and O. I've lost it. I think I'm going to go with uh, simple to start with. Now you'll notice I'm only using the uh, kick drum and the snare for the moment because um, I want to make sure I'm doing it right and I'm going to build it up slowly as you'll see in a bit. So let's give it a go. Oh, I meant to use G didn't I? <laughs> Give that another go. Okay, I'm going to stop there. A, because I might not get any more of it right, and B, because we can copy it. So I'm going to try and copy that down there. Um, I'm not going to quantize this. We'll see how unrhythmic I've played it. I'm not going to quantize it because I want that shuffle rhythm. Now, I'm just going to copy that now by pressing on my Mac. It is the option key. I think it's the alt key on a PC. Okay, let's have a listen to see what that sounds like first. Here we go. Let's turn the Mac off. Okay, so I'm now, to put the ride on, which is quite a bluesy thing to do, I'm going to add another track. Uh, I'm going to go down to drum kits again, the same kit, because I now want to put on... Ah, even where you play it makes a difference. So now I'm just going to add my ride on the top. Here we go. Forgot my metronome. Let's go back, put my metronome back on. Here we go. Quite like that. Again, I'm 
going to go in, delete that first note, my test note, and then I'm going to move that back. And can anyone guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to copy it. Not quite got that the right length though, so let's just take that back. Why can't I do that? Let's have a look. Have I got an extra note there possibly? Yes, you can see I've just got one there. So I should now be able to take that back. No, I'll figure that out in a minute. Okay, until I actually do that, there we go. I can't copy it because it would be the wrong length. So there we go, we've got our drums in, drums are over two tracks. Um, I'm now going to put the tempo up a little bit more and see what that sounds like. Okay, so this is, oh my goodness, what happened there? Okay, I'm going to undo whatever I just did. Okay, I don't know what I've done there. Um, I will endeavour to unpick that, but if you rewind the video a bit, uh, I think it was sounding okay. Um, so I'll endeavour to unpick whatever that is. You should have now a bass line, easy bass line, a chord part, a walking bass line, a, and a drum part over two tracks. So that is the end of lesson four. I'm going to try and fix this so that we can then start improvising in lesson five. See you next time.